Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. No time for an intro, everybody. We just gotta dive right into Phoenix Wright Justice for All because we are on the final trial part of the final case. Some, yeah, I'm curious to see how things are gonna end up. I think I have an idea, but... Alright, well... Maybe. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. March 23rd, 2.35 p.m., District Court, courtroom number three. They have been in court for around four and a half hours at this point. Yeah, okay. Not as long of a trial as I really thought at this point. Wait. What? Just 20 minutes, we're instantly up? I thought they were gonna go run after Gumshoe and find this car and... No, they have to go back to court. Yeah, but they had like 20 minutes, I thought. Okay. Anyway. They had 30 minutes, and Edgeworth needed to use most of that to get back to oh, the yeah, to... done. And then to prep And the there's And no, there's nowhere near enough time to look after them. Yeah, that's true, but still. Court will now reconvene. I assume both sides are ready. Y yes, Your Honor. Y yes, Your Honor. I can understand the defense acting like this. However, why do you also seem distraught, Mr. Edgeworth? I... That is... It's nothing, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Edgeworth? It looks like something unexpected just happened to him. Now then, Mr. Edgeworth, if you could please tell the court the results of the handwriting analysis on Miss Impax's suicide note. Y yes, Your Honor. Unfortunately, we have discovered that this suicide note is a forgery. Well, yeah. What? What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This... This note was not written by Miss Impacts herself. It is a fake. Well, poor Miss Andrews now. We'll never find this thing. Order, order, order! Mr. Edgeworth, would you care to explain what is going on? If this was not written by Miss Impacts, then who wrote it? We would need more time to do a more detailed analysis. However, it appears that the handwriting matches that of the victim, Mr. Juan Correa. That would make sense, too, where he's like, Oh, I'm gonna get all this dirt on oh, my <laughs> <God." laughs> You know, it would be terrible, though. Did she actually write a suicide note, though? <laughs> nah! <laughs> <laughs> One of the weirdest <laughs> moments from this series, perhaps. Mr. Corrida? Well, well. It looks like Miss Impacts never left a suicide note at all. Maybe she didn't actually suicide. Um, no. <laughs> well, no, if she didn't leave a suicide note, then... Well, I guess that would kind of make sense at the same time. I don't really understand suicide notes. Like, if you're gonna kill... If you want to kill yourself, you just do it. You don't think about anything else, really. You want to at least leave a note behind, at, like, explaining why you did it, maybe. Maybe, but other than that, I think it would be so simple that he would have just been like, Eh, whatever. I'm just gonna make my own... Thing. I'll just make my own suicide note. This she never wrote else. anything about On Guard. Yeah, she loved him. However, Your Honor, even though this suicide note is indeed a fake, Mr. On Guard could not have known that, and so that fact remains unchanged. Acting under the assumption that it was real, he had plotted to possess it. Hmm, that does sound very plausible. This theory that On Guard had no idea that the suicide note was fake. Something seems a little wrong with it. I mean, I don't know what to present for it, though. Hmm. It's no use. Something feels wrong, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Hmm. Actually, there is something I would like to ask. Mr. Edgeworth, you had stated something earlier. Oh, wait. <laughs> He's The judge is going to point it out for us? I guess so. <laughs> Thanks, judge. What? <laughs> He stated to us that the defendant had spied on Mr. Corrida's private life. Yeah. I believe this would mean that he would have known about the note as well. Th that's it! Yes, and so naturally... <laughs> this means Mr. Ongard would have known that the note was a fake. <laughs> well, I guess I know what evidence to put Yeah. Right? The defense believes that the theory the prosecution has stated contradicts testimony. If everything the prosecution has proven up to this point is true, then it's impossible for Mr. Ongar to not have known it was a fake. Look, my attorney's badge! Well, Mr. Edgeworth, your response? I believe that even more important than finding out if this note is real or not, 
is whether the attorney's badge pinned to that man's chest is real. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a good time to present it. That is the million dollar question. Yes, I agree. Me too. I'm going to take a wild guess and say that I messed up again. <laughs> yeah, what tipped you off, Phoenix? What is this little item called again? Um, a video camera, your honor? Well, a very small one, but... Oh, that's right! A camera! Aw, oh, you kids and your fancy toys nowadays. Mr. Edgeworth, earlier you claimed that Mr. Ongar knew of the existence of this note because he was spying on the victim, isn't that right? If that were true... Then this means Mr. Ongard would have known that the victim had forged the note. Back! So then the defendant knew this suicide note was a fake. And if that's true, then the situation has suddenly changed in a very dramatic way. Well, here's the deal though. The press would be like, ooh, look at this juicy tidbit of news. Like, even the rumor of something bad, even if it's not true. true, could totally ruin his perfect reputation. It's true. This is literally like if. Von Karma became evil and started killing people because of her perfect reputation or whatever, this would be, like, what it would turn into. <laughs> exactly, Your Honor! The prosecution's theory as to what Mr. Ongard's motive for murder was, it has suddenly disappeared into thin air. But, Your Honor, it's not as if Mr. Ongard monitored Mr. Corita 24 hours a day. Perhaps the victim wrote the note in a place Mr. Ongard didn't know of. Well, right back at you, Mr. Edgeworth! Why don't you show us some proof that the victim made the forgery in an unknown place? Grr! My thing is, though, even if the note was fake, Juan was still planning on trashing Ongard's reputation yeah, with Yeah, yeah. So. That makes sense to me. Order, I mean order, order, Mr. Edgeworth! It looks like this time it is you who has dug his own grave. Grr! As I figured... Huh? As you figured? As I figured, it came down to this after all. What, you have some <laughs> unknown evidence to present? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you are not making any sense. When I heard the results of the handwriting analysis, I thought this might happen. The question is, what next? What next? If the prosecution can't prove Mr. Ongard's motive through the evidence, then we must prove it from another angle. Well, I agree with you there. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to call a witness to the stand at this time. What? Oh, well that's fine. However, this witness... This witness is a little... unusual. Is he calling the cat? <laughs> Edgeworth stuttering. I'm gonna laugh This is so not hard. like him at all. Unusual? Well, what sort of witness is this person, Mr. Edgeworth? This witness is one who could perfectly fit to answer once and for all the question of who was it that hired Shelly to kill her to commit murder? Oh, probably murder. not the cat. <laughs> That's impossible! Who in the... No such person exists who can answer that question with such certainty. Y yes Mr. Edgeworth, who is this witness? It is... It's... Um, oh! Is it gonna yes? be on karma? Go on, who is it? The man himself. Mr. Shelly to kill her. Wait, how did he get in here? Oh, Mr. to kill her! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just kill her? Hold up! How'd they get him here, though? Good question. Uh, uh, you mean the killer? Or, I mean, the assassin? Yes, Your Honor. He's coming here to the witness stand? Well, yes, in a manner of speaking. Oh! Get, the, the, get him on the line. Okay. I recognize that this is a very unusual circumstance, so I ask for your permission. This hmm. is like the weirdest thing that's happened. Well, Mr. Wright? We talked to a parrot. Is, yes? Is this alright with you? Yeah! Do I have a choice here? I can't really do much else to drag this trial out. The defense has no objections, Your Honor. I wonder if it really is alright to do this. Very well then, the prosecution calls our witness to the stand. <laughs> Edgeworth, is there no other way left for us? Was he like, I need to take a phone call? <laughs> Yo, Shelly, get over here! Because <laughs> well, Edgeworth got the call last period where it's like, there's like someone on the phone, they said it was extremely urgent. Come on. Now then, witness, um, your name and your, uh, occupation, occupation please. <laughs> oh, okay. Very good, sir. I love how the radio actually looks like his face. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> My name is Shelley DeKiller, and I'm a professional assassin. Uh, I say! What is going on here? Your Honor? How can you remain so calm, and what is the meaning of this two-way radio? 
Actually, Your Honor, it was delivered to me just now, and it came with a condition. As long as we do not trace its source, Mr. De Killer will testify to this court. Okay. So this must be what that urgent phone call he got earlier was about. Why is he being so nice? To kill her? Yeah. Suspicious. No, like, I understand he's a very noble assassin, if that's even considered, like, a <laughs> profession. But, like, it seems weird that he'd just be like, I need to speak to Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> I have a present for you. What? Well, I bet I know what happened. I bet he'll be like... I'll give you this thing for court if you get my client guilty. <laughs> so it's like one guilty and one not guilty. Oh, okay. So it's like, if you get him not guilty, buy us free. If you get him guilty, then, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what does Mr. Edgeworth want, tea? He likes tea. He likes chess. Edgeworth wouldn't be blackmailed No, he anything. wouldn't. He wouldn't. Maybe it would be like, I don't know. Yeah. Oh no, this will not do. I cannot allow this in my court. What? First of all, we can't even be sure if this is really Mr. DeKiller himself. It is. Witness, please present some sort of proof that you are, in fact, Shelly DeKiller. I understand. But please wait a second. Huh? I'm so hungry. M M Maya! Maya! Uh, a voice! Mr. Wright, can you confirm anything from this? The defense has no objections to this person. We are satisfied that this man is indeed Shelly to kill her. It looks like we have run into yet another unexpected turn of events. Well, it doesn't seem like we have too many choices under these circumstances, so... Now then, witness, there is one thing I would like to confirm before we speak of anything else. And what would that be? At the request of a client, you killed Mr. Juan Corrida, is this correct? It is as you say, I did indeed kill Mr. Corrida. Okay. <laughs> now then, we have answered that. Let's move on to the name of your client. Very well. This is all just a bad dream. <laughs> yes, that's, that's it. A bad dream. The judge has a dream of Shelly the Killer looming over him. <laughs> He's like on that mountain. <laughs> I like that. Thanks, I like right. the right one. Shelly the Killer. What is he going to say? I had a very important client. Witness testimony about my client. There is something I must first state. To an assassin, nothing is more important than the trust between really? the client and himself. Really? He's gonna himself. be like, I can't say who it is. And that is the reason I am here today on this witness stand. It is my wish that you grasp this concept before I give the name of my client. Fine. Okay. Joke. Hmm, Mr. DeKiller seems to be a very clever man. Uh, I'd almost say he seems to be mocking us. In a British sort of way. <laughs> While he may appear to be our enemy, Your Honor, Mr. DeKiller is only stating the truth. He is no hypocrite. He has always stood by this one belief. You mean about this trust between his clients and himself thing? Hmm. It seems to be a level of trust beyond what people like me can comprehend. Well, Mr. Wright, are you ready to cross-examine the witness? Yes, Your Honor. There's no way to know what's coming next, so stay cool and collected, Phoenix. Well, I mean... Probably didn't see this coming. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't actually see we were going back to court immediately, so... I thought we were gonna go on a... Just mini ditch the trial? No, not ditch the trial, but we had 20 minutes. I thought there, were, there was gonna be a clock, and then we'd have, like, a mini game or something that we were doing. Oh, no. <laughs> but I guess not. We can hear anything you have to say later. Can you please just tell us your clients? I don't think you understand your place, Mr. Attorney. I said this is something I thought must first state. Do you know what the word first means? <laughs> no! S sorry. Go on. Well, it appears this is one witness you can't badger, Mr. Wright. I mean, yeah. That's only because you don't know about Maya's situation? <laughs> to an assassin, nothing is more important than- HOLD IT! <laughs> The trust between you and your client? I provide my services in a fast and efficient manner. In exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. If too many people knew my face, it would be quite troublesome. And that is why you're testifying in this manner? This is the first time one of my clients has ever been accused of murder. I must preserve the killer name so my clients can continue well, I mean, to trust me. Well, I mean, we know who the client is. <laughs> 
But couldn't someone stab you in the back and break your trust? It has never happened before, but if it ever did... Y yes That person wouldn't be my client for very long. You'd stab him back. They would certainly... Th th that's enough! Please, no more! Very well. It was only a hypothetical anyway. And that is the reason I am here today on the witness stand. That seems a little strange to me. I mean, you're about to tell us the name of your client. I would think that this would be very bad for them. It doesn't matter to me. This client has already broken the rules and acted outside of their prescribed role. Their role? This person tried to implicate another of the crime in order to save themselves. And this is a trespass that cannot be forgiven. You. Who gave you the right to be so high and mighty? To the gentleman who spoke just now, excuse me, but would you care to die? What? Ah, no, no! I, I didn't say anything! The judge had better watch himself. It is my wish that you grasp this concept before I give you the name of my client. We understand, so please tell us the name of your client. I'm afraid I cannot do that. I still have a few things to say before I do. Ah! That egomaniacal... It's not good for your health to be so aggravated. On the other hand, he's also <laughs> very much prolonging the trial, which is It's fine. true, which, yeah, that's nice. You won't live very long if you let everything bother you. That's true! Yeah, I mean, stress has been shown to shorten your lifespan, so... Yep. Somehow that coming from an assassin makes it less than comforting. I don't really care about all this extra fluff. Just tell us the name already. Patience. Try to calm down a little. It's important to try and understand his mindset. He seems very steadfast and closed, so you're gonna have to work to get him to talk. I'm not his therapist, you know? So this is an interesting one. We literally just have to press everything multiple times. Hmm. The killer's testimonies are some of the toughest in the game, and the series by okay. extension. Like, I'm trying to okay. get around all that this stuff. That would make sense, because like, me playing this, I would be like, I don't know what this is. Yeah. That's all right. The trust between you and your client? I provide my services in a fast and efficient manner. In exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. These are the roles and duties an assassin and his client are to carry out. I'm sorry, but I was wondering about something you just said. You said that your client had already broken the rules. A person who frames another is the worst kind of human. And that's why you feel you can betray this person? I have no trust relation with a client who can't understand their assigned role. Just my luck. An assassin with a conscience. Who would have figured? Now then, everyone, do you think you can understand my logic? No. This case just keeps getting better and better. If you can't, then I'm afraid we can't proceed. To that I skip the Every logic. Everyone <laughs> understands your point, I think. Really. In that case, I believe I am prepared to disclose the information you seek. You have made it crystal clear that you value trust over all else. I believe we are ready. Excellent. And that is the reason I am here today on this witness stand. Now then, I do believe it's about time I revealed the name of my client. Don't you agree? What is it? Um, now I can't bring myself to ask the client's name. If you can't ask it, Mr. Wright, then I will. Witness, what is the name of your client who requested the murder of Mr. Juan Corrida? That person's name is... Adrian Andrews. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting, actually. Witness! That's not who you told me it was earlier. Also, <laughs> that makes sense, because she was like, he's like, she already broke the rules by taking the card, yeah. by do framing all these people. That's kind of what I thought, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Pray tell, what are you talking about, Mr. Prosecutor? I should think I know my own client, and it is Adrian Andrews. What?! Meanwhile, Ongar's just like, <laughs> which is Swirling the brandy. <laughs> this can't be on the phone earlier. What's going on here? 
My guess is that Mr. DeKiller just stabbed Mr. Edgeworth in the back. Stabbed Edgeworth in the back? I'm sure in order to get an audience with his court, Mr. DeKiller told him a different name. Matt Ungard, perhaps? I knew it. This... This is outrageous! I was deceived! This witness is telling a very serious lie. Or told you a very serious but lie. But you were the one who summoned this witness. Grr! Grr! You shelly to kill her! My testimony is the truth. The defendant at the moment is Matt Ongard, am I correct? All I wish to do is help procure his acquittal. Thanks! <laughs> hmm. Wow. All of a sudden it feels like we can actually win this. Yeah. Sweet! That seems too easy, but sweet. The prosecution has failed to provide a motive and has instead provided this suicide note, which is a forgery created by the victim. Furthermore, there is a possibility the defendant himself knew it was a fake. But most definitive of all, we have heard from the assassin himself the name of his client. Mr. DeKiller's client who requested the murder was not the defendant at all. No! With all this evidence, it is obvious to me that this means Mr. Ongard is innocent. Then why was he swirling his brandy like a jerk? He is... Okay, because the killer is lying. Okay. Duh. Well, you thought he was actually innocent? <laughs> no, I don't think he's innocent. I think he's totally a jerk. But I think that everyone's guilty in this. Just a little bit. We have already received proof that Ongard yeah. did kill him. He, Ongard fought out told us that he killed him in the He's detention like, hey, center hey, 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 while he was swirling the brandy. I seem to have caused you all a bit of confusion. Please, continue your discussion and call me when you have reached a verdict. Uh, thanks. Bailiff, please bring Miss Adrian Andrews in immediately. What now? With the way this is going, Ongard will be found innocent. This may be our last chance to save Maya. Yeah... But, but Edgeworth is right. The killer is lying. And on guard, my client, I know he's guilty. Can I live with myself if I win this? It's like when you cheat on a test and you're like, I'm going to win this thing, but I feel bad about it. It's way worse, though, because this means Adrian is going to get arrested and possibly executed for the murder. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Who would? Either way, someone dies. This is just annoying. <laughs> I, annoying is not exactly the word I would use. Who would have believed that the prosecution's own witness would absolve the defendant? Your Honor, the prosecution requests permission to further question the witness. Shelley DeKiller is certainly lying under oath. Hmm. It wasn't me. Listen, everyone, please. That testimony just now it was all one big lie. Miss Andrews. The suicide note may have been fake, but... That man, Matt, he's the reason Celeste died. And Juan's death, it was all because he got pulled into Matt's twisted world. That testimony just now, you have to believe me, it was a horrible, horrible lie. But Mr. DeKiller himself has testified. He has named you as his client. No, that's not true. Also, there is quite a bit of evidence that points to you. The knife, the button, donning the Nickel Samurai's costume. But that's... that's... You even have a motive. We know that Miss Celeste Impacts was a large part of your life. You wanted to follow her, and you wanted revenge against the two who hurt her. I would say you have plenty of reasons to want them both dead. I... no... Mr. Wright! You... you know the truth. Tell them! Tell them the real story! Who the real killer is? Tell them! Please, help me. Yes, I know the truth. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? I believe we have reached the end of this trial. Therefore, I ask the defense for any final words or opinions. I have to decide. Do I take the not guilty verdict and save Maya? Or do I throw this chance away and wait for Gumshoe's new evidence? What am I supposed to do? So, here's my question. Can you get multiple endings for this There is more multiple endings. Really? Yep. Um... So, choose. Um... Is there a way for you to win and have both of them survive? I'm not revealing that. Come on! Um... Both of them are very important to me. 
Right. Well, which one do you want to do? Mm. At the current moment right now, I'm guessing we're going to end up with a better ending for what for what you want. Um, I'm going to guess that since Adrian Andrews already is going to jail anyway, it would probably be better to save Maya right now. But I, I don't know. Just requesting the verdict. I don't know. If we request the verdict right now, we have too many unsolved questions still. Okay. So I'm afraid I'm afraid either way, like, I'm afraid that if we say that the trial should continue, that they're both gonna die, and if we request the verdict, that just one of them's gonna die. Oh, interesting. So, do you want to request the verdict, then? You pick. I don't know. Well, I do know, and I want you to- I know! To um... I will say this, I will go with the canon ending. Does that mean Maya dies? That would be so sad. Um... One of these endings is canon, and that's the one I'm gonna actually, like, do last, essentially. Okay, well... Then... Continue the trial, I guess. Phoenix. I can't do it, Mia. I can't accept a not guilty. You are a lawyer. I know. But, but Matt Ongard is a killer, a murderer. I can't. I can't let him get away with this. Yeah, and Maya was mad at us for like, you can't let him be not guilty, blah, blah, blah. So even if we get her back, she'll be like, I can't believe you just let a murderer go yeah. willingly. Yeah, and also, if we let him go, he could do this again. Exactly. So I think that's probably the way we need to go. I can't let someone else take the fall. If I let Miss Andrews be convicted, then I'm no better than Ongard. And even though I don't want to admit it, I have to face the fact that it is because of Edgeworth that I now know the real truth. He could have gotten Ongard convicted so many times over, but he never took a single one of those chances. If I take this verdict right now, I'd be betraying his trust. His trust? I never thought about it until now. I... I trust him? Yes, you do. Mr. Wright, your opinion, please. The defense requests that we be allowed to further question Mr. DeKiller. Uh, am I hearing you correctly, Mr. Wright? Right. But, but, that witness has cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. I'm not done yet. To see through this witness's lies and find the truth, that is my job, Your Honor. Good job, Phoenix. This probably is not going to end well, but that's okay there's still more evidence to look at. And I'm sure that once those pieces arrive here in this very courtroom, a miracle will occur. You know what this is gonna be like? If you've never played all of Awakening, like Fire Emblem Awakening, just tune this out. But you know how at the end of Awakening it's like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill the-, Grima. the kill Grima with Krom or with Robin? And like, neither one of them are really any different. No, the, the Robin one is better to do. The Robin one's better to do. But it's like, neither one of them really make a huge difference for the ending. So it may be like that for this. I'll say this, the endings are very different. Uh, come on, Maya, don't die. You need to get up and you need to eat burgers with us. Very well, the trial will continue. This is so sad. Mr. Edgeworth, please reestablish connection with Mr. DeKiller. Right away, Your Honor. Great. <laughs> I'm glad you're at least taking the trial a little more seriously now. Has a verdict been reached? No! Before that, we would like to talk with you a little more. Great. About... All you needed from me was the name of my client. What else could you need from me? Well... Actually, we would like to hear everything you know about the case. That is how things are... Usually done. What is he talking about? Usually done? But what shall we have him testify about now? Mr. DeKiller, if you don't mind, please testify about your client in more detail. You legal people and your procedures, is it any wonder no one likes to go to court? That's true. <laughs> Ugh. DeKiller snark, about my client part two. Oh man. As I have already stated quite a few times, Adrian Andrews is my client. However, one thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did it to frame another for the crime. While pretending to be the first person to discover the body and enter the scene, Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Juan Corrida was dead. I'm gonna 
guess, I'm gonna guess what happens if we keep going with this. Gumshoe's dead, or very badly injured from his car crash. Maya doesn't get saved, but we kill, not kill, we catch the crook. The other one, the other one, we don't catch the crook, but Maya's okay, and Gumshoe maybe didn't hit the... What? Car. Gumshoe has gets in a car accident regardless of what Gumshoe ending. get a car, ca a car accident, but maybe he's safer in one than the other. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is making me so uneasy. But even more appalling is the creation and planting of the knife and button. That act is what I was referring to when I said my client had broken the rules. See, I didn't even know up until this point that we there were multiple endings. Ugh. That makes shit. That makes you take it more seriously, huh? That makes me. If I, no, it makes me so glad I'm not playing this game by myself because I'm the person who like. When they're like, please pick the path you want to take in a game, or like, please choose your username or password for like a new game. I'm always like, I don't know. and like, I'll be there for three hours just trying to do like character creation scene. Oh wow! No, literally, there are people like this. I just can't pick. And then once I finally do pick, I feel better. But then mm -hmm. there's other times where I'm like, I wish I could just go back and then do like the other yeah. path or whatever. Hmm. This is a most unexpected turn of events. For the, um, time now. <laughs> However, this time, everything has finally been revealed. Objection! Just a second, your honor. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? We still have the cross-examination to do. Yeah. But you don't need to question testimony like this. Do you, Mr. Wright? Yeah! Your honor, the defense will question the witness, as if I have a choice here. Huh? Why? What this witness has said is nothing but beneficial to the defense's case. Uh, if you scrutinize the testimony, then... We're literally becoming Edgeworth doing this. Then I'll expose the lies in that oh-so-beneficial testimony, I suppose. <sighs> I don't understand what's going on anymore. That makes two of us! <laughs> and that is where we're going to leave it off for the episode 4 today. What? Really? Yeah, Are you kidding we're me? at like the half-hour mark, and next episode will be the last one. Mm. Okay, simply put, if we did it any longer, then it would be like, WHAT THE HECK, YOU CAN'T WAIT THE EPISODE OF THE CORE THING, OR LIKE THAT. True. And also, then the last episode won't have a whole lot of stuff in it besides the credits. And okay. okay. So, yeah, I look forward to that. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day, and God bless.